Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wear. <laughs> Sure hope everybody's doing okay today. I was just sitting here answering some comments. You can't even see this phone, can you? I turn it at just the right angle, you can see it. It's got to be at just the right angle, though. This screen really reflects the light. Not to me, but it really reflects the light in the camera. Camera, bruh. In the camera, bruh, bruh, bruh. <laughs> Um, I was just sitting here answering comments. It's early in the morning. Got a little bit of natural light coming through the window. So I put the camera by the door so the natural light comes through and hits me. Which is awesome. I think, the, I think it looks better this way. I keep wanting to look at myself over here in the screen and I know better than that. I know I'm supposed to be looking right here at you. I think what I'm going to start doing is that once I get the uh, camera where I know it needs to be, I'm going to flip the screen back over, face them backwards, so I'm not distracted by my own movements and such, trying to look at myself. I think that's one of the problems a lot of people have when they're making videos and they wonder why, um, why they're not building their subscriber base and things is because they're looking at themselves and honestly when you're watching a video and somebody is staring off like this at themselves in the screen and talking and playing with their hair and acting like they're looking in a mirror and stuff isn't that very distracting and it kind of it kind of pulls away from what they're trying to say to you um, I personally prefer to look right at you that way you know I'm talking to you <laughs> not myself I'm not doing this because of my narcissistic need to see myself on screen. Um, I'm doing this to help. So, I had a subject in mind this morning, and then I changed my mind. So, we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> I know, now you all are sitting there going, what subject? What were you going to talk about? Why did you change your mind? <laughs> because that's my prerogative. I have a right to change my mind. <laughs> I'm just in a very good mood. I was going to talk a little bit more about uh, my past depressions and things like that, but I decided because I'm in such a good mood I don't want to bring myself down, and I don't want to bring anybody else down, so I'm not going to talk about it. Life is good, and when you've got your prescription, life is even better. <laughs> Somebody asked me one day on a video quite a while back, um, I was laughing a lot in the video. I was talking about something and I was laughing a lot. I was telling a story. And they asked me, are you on drugs? <laughs> so I commented back, the only drug I'm on is caffeine. My coffee. And I've gotten away from drinking as much coffee as I used to. Oh, by the way, I got blood results from the uh, doctor this morning. My sodium levels are back to normal thanks to old Mr. Gatorade here with all the salt in it, all the sodium in it. I drink two bottles a day. The reason my sodium levels were down was because I only eat one meal a day and I've cut way back on my salt. I used to salt everything. I've cut way back on sodium because I've been looking at these different things. Even bread has sodium in it and chili has sodium in it and all this stuff has sodium in it my chips are loaded with sodium but apparently according to my doctor uh, I have low blood pressure anyway and I'm hypoglycemic 
and uh, my doctor can't understand how I eat one meal a day being hypoglycemic. And uh, I told him, I said, you know, I've been that way my whole life, it was, you know, since I was a little kid, one meal a day. But if I start to get shaky or something, or, you know, when you're hypoglycemic, what will happen? Sorry, my nose has been going stupid. Sorry, I had to pause the video and, and blow my nose. It was driving me crazy. Uh, when you're hypoglycemic like I am, um, the, what happens to me, and it doesn't happen to everybody, is I'll start getting nauseous. I'll start feeling like I'm going to throw up. And that only lasts for a few minutes. You know, maybe it seems like a long time, but I've timed it before, and that nauseous feeling and feeling like I'm going to throw up lasts about a minute, maybe a minute and a half to two minutes. And then all of a sudden, I just feel weak. And I'll start shaking. My hands will start shaking. And my whole body will just kind of start shaking like, oh my God, you know? Like, just shaking, like I'm cold or something. And that tells me immediately I need something in my system. And what I used to do is because I used to drink sugar in my coffee all day, I never had that feeling. Since I've quit using sugar, I get that every once in a while. If I don't eat enough during my one meal a day, a lot of times in the evening or when I first wake up in the morning, I'll have that feeling, that nauseous feeling and that shakiness. And it'll actually make you like lightheaded. So I have to make sure I eat enough during that one meal because I only eat once a day. Now don't get me wrong, I do snack once in a while. We'll buy pies or cookies or something like that. And sometimes in the evening, you know, seven, eight o'clock at night or whatever, I'll grab a little snack. You know, I'll eat a little piece of pie or I'll eat a couple of cookies or something like that because I just have a feeling that I didn't get enough during that one meal. So, uh, because I quit using sugar in my coffee, especially now, I need to make sure that I have something in my system. The same thing with the sodium. Because I have low blood pressure, and I don't want to take any pills, and I've known this for years, I've always had low blood pressure. Now, when I'm working, physically laboring, uh, I've kept my, you know, that, that keeps your, your heart rate up, it, you know, it's good cardio, it keeps your heart rate up. You really can't have low blood pressure when you're physically laboring all day long and your heart's just pounding like crazy. You can have low blood pressure, but it's not really affecting you. <coughs> And then I would eat plenty of food, you know, I would eat, I would go to Golden Corral at lunch when I was doing tree service work, I'd go to Golden, I very seldom ever just went to a sit down restaurant, we always went to a buffet of some sort, Chinese buffet, Golden Corral, um, Pizza Hut buffet or whatever, because I, I was burning a ton of calories, climbing trees, slinging big chunks of wood, swinging chainsaws all day with both hands. I was like a ninja in a tree. I'm telling you, it was awesome. <laughs> and I was burning about 10,000 calories a day. So when I would eat my one meal a day, I had to make sure to replenish those calories. So when I would go to Golden Corral or something, I would, I'd put away eight or 10 plates of food and walk out of there and not feel bloated. Now, I'm lucky if I can eat two plates, and then I feel like I've eaten the whole buffet because I walk out of there and I'm so bloated up. It, it's crazy how burning calories off will give you, you can eat a lot more food when you're burning a ton of calories and not feel that bloated feeling. Your body absorbs that food quickly. It's like, hey, we need this. Um, so back to the, the sodium thing, because I quit using so much salt, I used to salt everything, and because I quit doing that, my blood pressure tended to drop a little bit, not to dangerous levels, but the last blood test my doctor did, my sodium levels were way down. 
and he simply told me, look, if you want to regulate your blood pressure without taking pills, you need to get your sodium levels back up where they belong. So, you know, we, I, I told you this before, we discussed it and everything else, and, and, you know, I'm supposed to drink something with sodium in it, whether that be, um, you know, to vegetable juice or Gatorade or Powerade or, you know, something with sodium in it. Because I told him, I don't want to get back in the habit of salting everything I eat. So, I buy the big cans of Gatorade and I mix them up in this bottle. And you've never seen one this color simply because that is my orange one and blue one mixed together and it came out pea color. <laughs> Not pea color, but, you know, the little green pea color. <laughs> have to clarify that. It's not pee. <laughs> so yeah, my sodium levels are back up. My vitamin D levels are right where they need to be. Uh, my blood test came out perfect. Everything is perfect. Absolutely nothing wrong with my blood. And I think that's one of the reasons I'm feeling so good this year and not being depressed is because I've got plenty of vitamins and minerals and nutrients in my blood and iron and calcium and all. Everything that's supposed to be there is there. Uh, vitamin D helps you break down calcium. I eat a ton of cheese and I love my cheese. So the vitamin D that I get from the sun helps me break down that calcium and absorb that calcium that I need. You know, it all works together. Uh, I did a video yesterday about symbiosis. It all works together. It's it's a symbiotic relationship with the sun. I have a symbiotic relationship with the sun. Uh, <laughs> even on a cloudy day, I still get plenty of vitamin D because that doesn't stop, you know, that just stops the warmth of the sun. It doesn't actually stop the sun rays from coming through the clouds. So even if you're outside on a cloudy day, you're still going to get plenty of vitamin D. So good news from the doctor this morning that my levels are all back up where they belong. I just have to maintain my routine. It's no different than with my dentures. I got on a routine. I have to maintain that routine, keep doing what I'm doing. And, you know, it's just, it just becomes, the routine becomes a part of your life. That's, you know, that's just the way it is. It just becomes a part of your life. It is currently 840 in the morning. And uh, I decided to just grab the camera. This is, it, it, this is perfect lighting for this video, so I don't have to edit the lighting in this video at all. <laughs> it's not too bright. The sun's on that side of the house because uh, it comes up in the south now. So, but I still get some natural light through this big sliding door right here because this guy is, you know, the sky is right there. <laughs> and being that it's cloudy, I'm not getting as bright a light. I'm getting that natural soft light, which is what everybody tries to emulate with their white sheets and their lights behind them and, you know, the soft lighting. Because if the light's too bright, then everything in the video reflects and it doesn't look good. And if the light's too dark, I look like a shadow in the camera. So, all right, well that's it for today, my friends. I just wanted to give you the good news that I got from the doctor. Um, I'm still dealing with the pinched nerve thing. That's never gonna heal unless I have it operated on. So there are some mornings when I wake up that I have to take a goodie powder and three ibuprofens because I'm hurting pretty good. But then I can function most of the day that way. Um, and I'm not overdoing it because, you know, I'm, I'm allowed to take four goodie powders a day or up to eight ibuprofens a day. And I'm taking one goodie powder and three ibuprofens at the same time because, like I said, they process differently through your system. Stay down. They process differently through your system, so um, they attack pain in two different ways. And that's all I have to take. And I only have to do that on occasion. I don't have to do it 
every day, so I'm not really worried about my kidneys or my liver. Neither is the doctor. All right, my nose is starting to screw up again. I don't get it. Just what happens early in the mornings. Usually I don't make my videos until afternoon because of this nasal crap that I have first thing in the mornings. All right, my friends, that's it. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, never give up.